For today's lesson, we are going to discuss about finding the area of a regular figure that made up of squares and rectangles. Let us begin our lesson by identifying the meaning of area. Area is defined as a space occupied by a flat surface of an object. What plain figure is this? Yes, it is a square. A square has four equal sides. Let us now find out if what's the area of a square. First, we must know if what is the formula. So the formula in getting the area of a square is A equal S times S or area is equal to side times side. The first side that we have is the 5 cm and the second side that we have is 5 cm. 5 cm multiply 5 cm is equal to 25 cm squared or 25 squared cm. So this is the total area of the square. And the second plane figure that we have is a rectangle. How can we compute the area of a rectangle? First, we're going to use the formula A equal L times W or area is equal to length times width. So, we have... 7 cm for the length and 9 cm for the width. 7 cm multiplied to 9 cm is equal to 63 cm squared or 63 squared cm. So, this is the total area of a rectangle. Remember those two formulas. For the area of a square, we have A equal to S times S. And for the area of a rectangle, we have A equals to L times W. Those two formulas are important in finding the area of an irregular figures. When we say irregular figures or shapes, it is a shape that does not have equal angles and sides. It is made up of two or more geometric shapes. This figure is an example of a irregular figures or simply to say that irregular figures it is made up of a square and rectangles. This is also an example of an irregular figure because it is made up of squares and rectangle. Let us get if what is the total area of this irregular figure. The first thing that we should do is to name the first square as A and the next square as C and let us name the rectangle as B. Let us first find out if what is the area of square A. So we are going to use the formula A equal S times S or side times side. So we have 6 meter times 6 meter is equal to 36 squared meter. So this is the area of square A. And to get the area of rectangle B, we will use the formula A equal L times W or length times width. So for the length, we have 3 meter and for the width, we have 8 meter. 3 meter times 8 meter is equal to 24 m squared or 24 squared meter as the area of B. And to get the area of C, again, we will use the same formula that we used to the area of A. We have 
A equal S times S or side times side. We have also 6 meter times 6 meter is equal to 36 m squared as the area of C. Since we have the area of A, area of B, and area of C, we are going to add them together so that we can get the total area of this irregular figure. So, total area is equal to area of A plus area of B plus area of C. We have 36 squared meter plus 24 squared meter and 36 squared meter is equal to 96 squared meter as the total area of this irregular figure. This is also an example of an irregular figure because it is made up of square and rectangle. We are going to find out if what is the total area of this irregular figure. Let us name first the square as B and let us name rectangle as A. To find out if what is the area of B, we are going to use the formula A equal S times S or side times side. We have 3 cm times 3 cm is equal to 9 squared cm as the total area of B. The next thing that we should do is to find out if what's the area of rectangle a. So we have the formula A equal L times W or length times width. So we have 3 cm times 12 cm is equal to 36 squared cm as the total area of B. And finally, to get the total area of this irregular figure, we are going to add the area of B and the area of A. So we have 9 cm squared or 9 squared centimeter plus 36 squared centimeter. We have 45 squared centimeter as the total area of this irregular figure.